Uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate field hockey on a phenomenal season. Uh, very inspiring for, for Shar and her, you know, ladies to, to just obviously play really well in, in the Big Ten play, but uh, also in that postseason. So I know our team's inspired by, by their performance. And congratulate women's soccer on, on their 4-0 victory today over West Virginia. And, and hopefully fans can come out on Sunday against Virginia at, I believe, five. So p please come out. Uh, they've worked really hard this season. So come out and support them. Awesome job by them. Uh, in terms of our team, it was just great to be able to get several different players in there, try different lineups, um, try different things tonight. I thought our team did a great job um, with staying locked in uh, energy-wise, and, and they had a lot of juice. And we're really just celebrating each other and playing off each other well. So uh, overall, great team win, but uh, we're really excited to um, get back at it and, and have a great opponent in Syracuse coming up on Monday. You've uh, you've talked a lot about scoring 90 points. You almost scored 100 tonight. Uh, does it feel like this is a this is a statement win? Well, I think it's definitely better. Uh, I think um, obviously we had a positive assist to turnover ratio tonight, which is something we've been um, really preaching in practice and stuff. So, um, you know, I thought everybody got involved. Everybody did a nice job trying to share the wealth and, and really make that one more pass. Um, obviously, anytime you can keep a team in single digits in quarters uh, defensively is great. So uh, we had two of those, obviously, in the first and in the third. So um, great overall defensive effort, I thought. And this team can really shoot the ball. And we held them to three made threes, which, um, you know, our goal was seven, and they got three. So um, I'm really proud of the team for that. Were there any major adjustments made from Tuesday's game to tonight? Uh, a lot of fixes on film, uh, a lot of uh, team film, a lot of individual film just to lock back in mentally. Um, we know this team has the ability physically, and now we just got to make sure that we're all mentally focused on every possession and staying sharp and staying consistent. You also uh, only allowed 33 points. Uh, shooting, quite frankly, you shot under 50%. Do you think this is more of an offensive one where you scored 96 points, or is it a defensive one where you only allow 33, generate 30-some turnovers, and just get your ball offense the ball enough to shoot all right but then score a ton? Yeah, I thought our defense w was better than our offense tonight. Um, obviously held them to 24%, um, and that's a good shooting team. You know, they, they were making nine threes a game and shooting it um, almost at, at around, you know, 40-some 40, 40 percent, so that, that's a high clip from three-point range. So very proud of our defensive effort. Obviously, offensively, we're still working through some, th through some things and uh, turning it over way too much. I know you've talked in the past about getting the ball into the paint. You guys had 48 points in the uh, post tonight. How important was that for your team's success on offense? It's huge. I mean, we've been talking about it. We need an inside-outside presence, and um, I think you know our team is buying into that. Obviously, Alexa Williamson has proved. You know, John Asia Cash and Allie Brigham came in, and uh, you know I thought Kayla um, gave some great minutes as well. So when we have um, capable scores down low. It just opens things up for our drivers and for our three-point shooters, and we got to ha have a healthy balance of that all year. You obviously threw a lot of bench players out there in the final minutes. You had a total of 43 bench points. Everybody on the team but Anna scored, and Anna had four assists. So yeah, decent four assists, zero turnovers. Awesome. Yeah, so decent game from her. What's it mean going forward to be able to kind of experiment like that late game, you know, freely knowing that you're not going to cough anything up or lose yeah. a game and just be able to work with work with that forward. Well, I said all, you know, preseason and I knew this this team makeup was going to be our depth. And and the fact that we're we're able to, you know, throw in 13 Lady Lions in there to all contribute is huge. So, um that's going to be who we are all year. It's next woman up and sometimes people are going to play 30 minutes, sometimes they're going to play 15 and when their numbers called, they got to be ready. And I think that's what's going to be the separator for our team in the Big 10 and, and and down the stretch here is our ability to play multiple multiple people and be versatile. What sort of improvements are you looking to make in the next several weeks before you guys begin conference play? Yeah, well, obviously taking care of the ball. Um, that, that's something the majority of our passing right now, our turnovers are coming through uh, passes, and uh, they're unforced. And um, no one's really got up and pressured us yet. And we, we're still, you know, turning it over at a high rate. So we really got to solve that. Um, I think we got to be sharper with running our, our execution and our offensive sets. Um, and then just, you know, continue to buy into defense. Th this team has really done a phenomenal job this offseason, just working really hard on, on fixing, um, you know, our skill set, whether it's flooding the paint um, or, you know, no middle or high hand closeouts, whatever it might be. They're buying into the little things defensively, which is making big impacts. 
Thanks, everyone. Good luck to soccer and, and all the other teams competing.